Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planning video. We're in a bit of a different setup today, so I hope the lighting and the picture is all good and fine. It is currently four in the morning. We're out here early. I am an early bird. I do like getting up early, going to sleep early. And as the days get shorter and we march steadily into fall and into winter, I don't uh, have as much time to film in natural lighting um, with the days getting shorter and all. And I, I tend to like to film in natural light and ideally I'll film in natural light, but sometimes I just, I'm just gonna have to film with artificial lighting because it's still dark outside. And so this is what's going on today. Definitely let me know how the lighting is, um, if it's too, if it's if it's doable, if it's watchable. Definitely let me know um, because I do want to bring high quality content to you all. So, anyways, uh, today I'm gonna be working on my fall 2021 bucket list. This is something that I see going on in the planner community quite a bit and I love it. I made my fall bucket list for the first time last year and I had so, so much fun with that. I'm gonna try to pop a picture of that up here on the screen somewhere to show you all how much fun I had with this fall bucket list but um, I'm excited to move on to uh, fall 2021, my fall bucket list 2.0. And because we're working in a happy planner this season, uh, I made it happy planner friendly. So I got my pumpkin spice latte candle here. I got my fall stickers here as well. And I'm ready to map out my fall 2021 bucket list. A little bit late. I didn't, you know, get around to doing it until today, but you know, better late than never. So if you're interested in checking out my fall bucket list uh, and how I set it up, I've already kind of started setting it up. Just keep on watching. All right, so last year I made my fall bucket list and it was a lot of fun. It turned out really, really cute. I was in love with that fall bucket list. I did almost every single item on my fall bucket list. I, I only didn't do like one or two. And as you could probably see from the picture, I'll pop up here again. I had a lot of items on my bucket list. And so I'm excited to do another fall bucket list for this year. And last year I was still working in my art, uh, my creative journal art notebook, which isn't disc bound, but because I'm in a happy planner this year, I went ahead and I set up my pages to fit into the happy planner. So I have my happy planner back here and I just went ahead and got some scrapbook paper and some brush pens and I set up this little fall bucket list here. And I only went with um, like four, you know, like two pages and three of those are, you know, is, is a space where I'm gonna uh, map out the bucket list and the front was kind of like the cover. So, so far I only have three pages, you know, like three sides that I can set up my bucket list on. Um, but if I find that I want more room, I'll go ahead and make another, um, make another sheet. And yeah, I'll just keep on going with that. But I'm gonna start off with these three pages and we'll see if I need more room. And I got this scrapbook paper from just like a, a Michaels brand scrapbook paper book. And I just kind of double taped it together. So that way I had like a design on each page of the this little booklet that I have here. And on the cover, I just put another piece of scrapbook paper on top of this like acorn and leaf design. And um, I just brush lettered happy autumn days on it with the fall 2021 bucket list here on this on the bottom. And I'm still working on my brush lettering. My brush lettering, I would say is is workable. It's not perfect, but you know, practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna move this planner here. 
And then let me zoom in a little bit. Oop. All right, so let me move this candle out of the way. Mm, this candle smells delicious. I wish you could smell it because it is so delicious. All right. So I have um, a Happy Planner sticker book. This is the seasonal. I got it at a thrift store. I think this is the one that people were finding. Um, people were finding in like the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use this sheet here, which is perfect because it's the fall bucket list. I also think I'm gonna be using this sheet with the leaves on it. And then, mm, let's see. Let's see if there's anything else that, mm, maybe, I don't know. We'll use for sure these two sheets. And then I also have this recollection sticker book, which I just got at Michael's, it's a new one, and it's a fall themed sticker book, and I've already used it a ton, but I've been kind of hoarding this until uh, for this for this um, fall bucket list. So, so we have a lot to work with, and um, let's just get into it. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is pull for some of these like pre-made fall bucket list. Um, stickers i love that they do this so okay i'm gonna grab for read a book here i'll just put that i'll just start popping them all over the place i also have a picture of my old bucket list here with me so i'm gonna pull from a lot of those items i had such an intense fall bucket list last year and i'm excited to recreate it and add some new things. So I also had read a book for last year's bucket list and I made it read a scary book. Um, I think that's kind of implied, but for me it was read a scary book. And what I did last year was I would, I made like a little box next to the item and then whenever I finished it, I would check it off. So I have here read a book and I think I might actually have like a book sticker that I can add. So here we go. Yeah. I have some book stickers here. These stickers are from, uh, I forget what the brand is called, but it's one of the Michaels um, sticker books. Well, not the Michaels sticker book. It's, uh, it's like you can get the sticker book at Michaels. So read a book. There we go. I think I'm going to read this book here. It's called Unexplained Strange Sightings, Incredible Occurrences, and Puzzling Physical Phenomena. It's a pretty big book, and um, it's just all about, like, you know, uh, scary things, unexplained things. I think this will, this is going to be perfect for my Halloween or, or, like, my scary book challenge. All right, what else is here? Okay, Visit a Haunted House. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. I think I did this one last year too. I actually last year did not go to a haunted house. I think because everything was kind of shut down with COVID. So I didn't end up doing that, but let's put the little box. And then, okay, go trick or treating, go on a hayride. I'll put that one. Not sure how, how, uh, how likely that one is to happen, but Go on a hayride. Bake pumpkin bread. That's a good one. That's one that I, I actually did last year. Uh, eat pumpkin pie. I want to bake a pumpkin pie. That's one that I wanted to do last year, but never got around to doing it. Black Friday shopping. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to do that, so we're just going to leave that one. Roast s'mores. I've already done that actually. Some of these uh, bucket list items I've actually already done. So I could just like check that one off if I wanted to. I'm sure it's gonna happen again. Cook comfort food, okay. Cook comfort food. Let's see. There's my little box. Go apple picking. Uh, donate to a family in need. That's a good one. I always do try to uh, donate something around this time. 
get cozy. That's not a real like bucket <laughs> list item. I feel. Okay, so carve pumpkins. Yes, that one's a good one. So I'm gonna put that one here. Carve pumpkins. Um. Okay, I think that's all that's we that we have here. Let me try to find a pumpkin sticker. Add that there. Okay, so that's all of the like the bucket list items from this sheet that I want to. Uh, oh, here's watch a scary movie. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Watch a scary movie. I think that one was also on my um, my bucket list last year. Is there, are there apple? Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of these apple stickers uh, from this sheet and decorate like around this apple picking sticker. I think that'd be really cute. Oops. All right, so I think I actually have some, um, what's it called? Some fall stickers here that I can pull for. I have this slice of pumpkin pie um, sticker that I can pop up here next to the eat pumpkin pie. So there we go. And then I think I also have some, um, let's see. So, um, okay, here we go. Craft an autumn wreath. These are uh, bucket list stickers from, I think, the Wrong Wrong Seasons seasonal sticker book from a while ago. So, craft an autumn wreath. I'll put that up here. And then I also have shop for a Halloween costume. I'm not sure what I want to be for Halloween. I normally don't do a lot for Halloween, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I tend to not like think too much about, about my costume. Some people get really into it. And I've never been someone that got really into Halloween. Craft an autumn wreath. I am not a big... Uh, like wreath crafter either so that one's gonna be interesting what's nice about bucket lists is that um it it's a it's a way to like encourage you to try new things and um and just like set up you know new exciting adventures for yourself so that's what i like so much about bucket lists all right, so I think those are all of the fall bucket list stickers for now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and make my own fall bucket list items. Um, so one that I want to do is visit a pumpkin farm, like a pumpkin patch to get pumpkins. So I'm gonna put that one up here and I'm going to write, visit a pumpkin patch. And then another bucket list item that I did last year, I'm gonna do again this year, is celebrate Oktoberfest. So I'll, I'm gonna grab this sticker of a beer here. So Oktoberfest is that holiday celebrated in Germany where everyone just drinks beer and has a grand old time. And I tend to celebrate it, well, I've just barely started like really paying attention to it last year because I had that item on my bucket list. And how I celebrated Oktoberfest last year was I just went to a liquor store and I bought a six pack of really fancy, interesting beer. I'm not a huge beer drinker. Um, I do enjoy it. I do like, uh, you know, craft beers and such, but I don't really go out of my way to like get, you know, a craft, a pack of craft beer. And so this was kind of an opportunity to go and try something different. And I just had, you know, uh, I celebrated um, Oktoberfest by just having that, you know, six pack of craft beer. I might do something a little bit more, you know, out there now that COVID is, um, things are kind of opening up because again, last year, my bucket list was very much limited by, you know, COVID. Um, so maybe this year I'll see if there's some kind of like beer festival going on and I'll go attend that. So celebrate Oktoberfest. 
Okay, so maybe with the apples from the apple picking, I will make candy apples. So that's another thing that I had on my bucket list last year, but I never got around to doing this. So maybe this year I, I'll be able to make candy apples. And then another bucket list item that I want to do is uh, go on a hike. So I'm going to grab this sticker from the recollections book of this hiker here. And actually I might grab this, um, this tree sticker as well. So let's pop that down here. And then I pop this guy right here. So, okay. And then Go on a fall hike. And then I'm going to grab the sticker that says going to the mountains is going home. And I'm going to put that right next to this hiker sticker for my next bucket list item, which is Mountain Day in Julian. So I have this tradition dating back from my college years of playing hooky one Friday in October, usually the last Friday in October, I um, take the day off and I go to the mountains and I just have a day in the mountains full of hiking. And um, Julian is a small mountain town, um, like an hour, an hour and a little bit more um, away from us here in San Diego. And up there in the mountains, the leaves actually do turn, you know, colors. And so in San Diego, because there's such a coastal desert region, uh, we don't really see the fall colors too much. So I really have to go out of my way up into the mountains to go see the colors or the fall colors. And so Mountain Day, um, is something that I've been trying to do every October. I take the Friday off, I go up into the mountains, I go hiking, I have apple pie, I have cider donuts, I have hot cider, and they have all these cool fall activities. And so um, that's what I'm planning to do again this, this fall is have my mountain day in Julian. And I'm gonna grab one of these little uh, coffee mug stickers um, because I also want to add another bucket list item and this one is gonna be drink apple cider and have a cider donut. And I just realized I have a s'mores sticker here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. Roast s'mores, yay! Another like uh, drink bucket list item that I always like to do is I like um, I like having a pumpkin spice latte in the fall, or or some other kind of like pumpkin fall drink. So I'll add that here. I think it's just like such a classic fall thing to do is have a pumpkin spice latte or some other type of fall drink. So there we go. We have um, my pumpkin spice latte. And then another bucket list item that I'm gonna do again from uh, last year, like taking it from last year's bucket list item, is visit a cemetery. So that's something that I, cemeteries are like actually really cool places. They're often beautifully designed and it's really interesting to go just check out the, c the cemetery and just wander around and, you know, kind of get like a sense of history, so. Another um, another bucket list item from last year is buy Halloween candy. Um, so I'm gonna grab these Halloween candy stickers that I think these came from a um, from a uh, let's see what oh the fall sticker book from like two years ago. So let's see. And actually, I think I I already did this one because yesterday I bought a Reese's peanut butter pumpkin. I just bought one single one because um, uh, milk chocolate makes me break out quite a bit. 
and so I tend to not buy it too much. Um, but I feel like I already checked that one off because it technically, you know, it counts. It, it counts as, uh, it counts as Halloween candy. And another thing that I want to do is make hot cocoa or hot chocolate. So I'm gonna grab this little like drink sticker, and I'm going to put it up here and write that down. And then I think something else that I want to do is go camping. So I'm gonna pull, uh, grab the sticker that says "Seek Out Nature." And I'm going to pop it down here and make another bucket list item. And I'm gonna grab uh, these stickers. These are Dia de los Muertos stickers. I'm gonna grab one of these sugar skulls and I'm gonna pop that down. Maybe, where should I put this? Maybe, I'm running out of room. I'll put this right here, but another bucket list item that I'm taking again, rolling over from last year, is celebrate Dia de los Muertos. And another bucket list item from last year was buy a cinnamon broom. That's another fall tradition that I have is buying a cinnamon broom. Those smell so good. And something that I've been wanting to do, uh, start a tradition, is get some Halloween or like some fall themed socks. So I have this little uh, sock sticker here and I'll add that to my bucket list. Socks is something that I always like drag my feet on buying. I don't know why, I just tend to like wear my socks out until they're like threadbare. And so I feel like it would be fun to pick up a pair of socks every season to kind of like match the season. So we're gonna start that tradition this year. Ooh, I could grab some of these candy corn stickers and pop them here with the Halloween candy. We are running out of room on these pages. Thankfully, I have a lot of more room here on the back. Okay, and then thankfully I have this scented candle sticker because that's another uh, fall like bucket list item is getting a scented candle for the season. And I just got mine um, yesterday. I got a pumpkin spice latte scented candle and it's actually this one right here. <laughs> uh, I picked it up. It's been so long since I bought a candle. I haven't bought a candle for maybe a year and a half, maybe two years. And I used to like really be obsessed with candles and I had like a whole bunch of candles. Slowly like worked my way through them and I told myself I wouldn't ever like hoard candles again. And I've been really good about that. So I haven't bought a candle in like a year and a half, two years. Oh, something else that I've been wanting to do um, for a fall tradition is buy a cozy sweater um, because it is sweater weather. So I'm gonna pop that, oh, pop that down here, make my little check box. Buy a cozy sweater. Awesome. And I feel like I filled up these pages, so um, this might be the last thing I add on here. But another thing that I want to add is go mushroom foraging. I think that would be great. Uh, I do like to mushroom forage. It's been so long since I've gone mushroom foraging, though. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to add that right here. All right, and then I think another thing that I want to do is make a warm and hearty soup. So I'm going to grab this What's for Dinner sticker from uh, one of the recipe books f uh, from the Happy Planner, and I'm going to use that to mark this particular bucket list item.
and I think I'm gonna grab this tag sticker that says cozy days and one of my bucket list items is gonna be have a cozy day I'm envisioning like a Saturday or a Sunday where I just stay home make a fire in the hearth have I don't know comfort food watch a movie be in all cozy with you know fuzzy blankets maybe stay in my pajamas all day i don't know we'll see we'll have a, an extremely cozy day one of these days have an extremely cozy day <laughs> And I think that's about it that I want to add for now. I can't think of anything else that I want to add here. I already have a bunch of um, a bunch of bucket list items, and I still have some room here in the back to add some more if I feel like it. But I'm happy with how this bucket list turned out. I think it's super, super cute. And again, I like bucket lists because it's a way to really like motivate you and encourage you to try new and different things. Like I've never been on a hayride. Um, I've never crafted an autumn wreath. I've never, you know, baked a pumpkin pie, which this says eat pumpkin pie, but I kind of want to bake it and then eat it. So, you know, it just helps me to just to plan out, you know, fun, exciting adventures for myself. So I hope you enjoyed watching this fall 2021 bucket list. I love how it turned out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions for fall bucket list items that you saw that I didn't, you know, put here, definitely please let me know. Um, I would love to, you know, just fill up um, more items here on my fall bucket list. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put these pages into my happy planner so here's my happy planner and i think i might put this uh i might put this bucket list like right here in the front right after my table of contents so we'll pop that here and if i don't like uh i don't i don't like having it here i'll definitely move it but there we go. There's my fall bucket list. All right, everyone. Thank you once again for tuning in and joining me for yet another planner video. I really do appreciate your kindness and your support. So thank you once again. All right. Until next time, stay safe, stay kind, stay blessed. Um, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.